Hey you guys, what's goody what it do? It's your girl Abby Motherfucker Sue and I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the method that I use to do my bald cap when I'm doing my wig install. So stay tuned. Baby, won't you come to my motel? Okay, so first things first, I eat your brains, and I'ma start rocking. <laughs> no, first things first, I get my um wig cap, and then I put it over my head, and I pull it all the way down because it makes it like thinner, and then that thick part at the end won't really show, and that's perfect. So um that's what I do, and I'm using my got to be free spray, and I'm spraying it along my hairline. Then I like to just use my fingers to melt it in and press it in and basically I'm just going back and forth with the spray and back and forth with my fingers and I'm just doing it until I feel like you know I have a good consistency and that it'll stick. And basically while you're doing this you're gonna know whether or not the spray is drying because you are using your fingers and you're rubbing it so you can tell whether or not the spray is drying. So when I feel like I'm done with that, I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to make sure the wig cap is fully dried. Notice how I'm using my hand and I'm rubbing around. I'm just getting a feel of where it needs to be dried down some more. Next, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm cutting a hole around my ears so that my ears are poking out and they're not covered. Now I'm going to begin to cut the wig cap going upwards. So now I'm just going to cut off the excess part of the cap that wasn't dried down and I do not need. So before moving forward, I'm taking my ghost bond glue and I'm gluing down my ear tabs. I think this is very important because you don't want to cut any more of your wig cap and then it starts lifting. So before I cut anything else, I'm going to be gluing down the ear tabs. Then once my glue is clear, I'm going to use my blow dryer to dry it. Okay, so we're all good and my ear tabs are secured. So now I'm taking this elastic band and I'm putting that around my wig cap just for some extra security, just to melt everything in. We need that melt, okay? And now I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes before I take it off. I think that's very important. So make sure you have like something that you do on the side because the longer you wait, the more it'll melt in. So now I'm going in and I'm cutting off the rest of the wig cap that I didn't cut off. So now I'm peeling back any part of the wig cap that might have been glued down but I do not plan on using. So I'm just cutting it um, where I think I'm going to lay my wig down. 
So the key to the best bowl cap is to make sure everything is melted in and to not leave any fuzzies on your bald cap. You want to make sure you cut everything to perfection, cut everything off. If there's um, a part of your cap that is not glued down, cut it off. If you do not cut this off, if you do not do this step, your wig cap will lift and so will your wig, so will your baby hairs. You will not get a long lasting install and that's what we want. So make sure you're cutting everything off to the best of your abilities. I recommend using a small precision scissors. It really helps, it really makes a whole difference. Now I'm just going to cut out the part of the wig cap that's still connected underneath my ear. Okay, the next step is to get a powdered foundation or you can use a lace tint, but I'm using powdered foundation for today and I'm using a foundation that's close to my shade and I'm putting that on top of the wig cap to make it look like scalp, look like I'm really bald. <laughs> So now for some extra, extra, extra security, I'm taking my got to be free spray and I'm spraying that on my bald cap again because we need it to stay down. Okay, so now I'm taking my blow dryer and the end of a tail comb and I'm pressing into the edges of the bald cap. This is gonna melt everything in. If everything's not already melted, this is definitely gonna melt it in.
So now I'm going back in and I'm adding more powdered foundation on top. Okay, so now everything's dried down and this is what you guys should have. So now I'm just taking a wet rag and I'm wiping around my hairline. I'm prepping it for my wig install. You don't want to have all that gunk around your hairline because it's going to build up and you do not want that for your install. So make sure you guys wipe that off. But this is what you guys should have afterwards. A nice bald cap. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Mwah.